Hey fellas, I am Swaroop and welcome to your 7th C programming tutorial. In the last couple of tutorials, we have seen what variables are, what data types are and all that stuff. But, well as you can see here clearly that I am not using C free right now. Well, this is one of the plans I got of the internet. This is good actually. In this we can do both c and java so i'm kind of using it right now but don't worry you can still use your c free i still think it's one of the great things out there but anyway in this tutorial we'll be seeing how to get user input i mean how dumb would be an application or a program if it isn't user friendly if it isn't taking any input from the user so that's what we'll see today so let's get started now all the basic stuff hashing to stdio.h int main well you can even do with main but this appliance requires it to be specified as int main so i'm just using it but you can just do fine with simple main now let's declare a variable of data type int and let's name it a it's always cool now we'll just print out something onto the screen to let the user know what to do then and we'll type enter an integer well i think that would be just fine semicolon at the end don't forget that now the main part how to get user input for getting user input we'll use a function scanf well, it's pretty much like the printf but it's just a bit different to get user input for some variable we have to first write the type of the value we are going to get for that in for that variable here i want to get some value for a so a is of type int so i'm going to use the specifier for that data type which is percentile d and give a comma and we'll type in ampersand a a is the variable in which i want to store and ampersand implies that which means that ampersand a means that we are storing the value into a so that's what actually it does so now we're getting input into the a but what are we doing so let's do something like print it again print f print f backslash n the new line character and i want to print f a a simple program so save it well compiling is a bit difficult here since this is command line environment and you can directly press f10 but here it is going to be a bit different you don't need to follow this here you can just directly press f10 there so it's compiling right now this make means it's compiling and we, we didn't get anything except this line here which pretty much means that everything is perfect now i'm executing this it's exactly equivalent to you pressing f5 now it's asking me for an integer i'll give um, my favorite number one and see that's what we asked we, we wanted it to print a and that's what it printed so it's working pretty much fine so let's try it with another value run it again it's asking again integer let's give it something like this one two three four okay let's printing it again that's cool so we get we can almost see that it's working for every value of an integer but let's try some corner case now what if we give a float value let's find out see i'll give it one two three four point oh, oh, oh it gives me the integer value see what happens here is although we give a float value 
since a is of integer it only considers the integral part and it truncates it cuts off all the other zeros after the decimal things so let's try with another float value this time well, in fact or let's clear me this yeah let's yeah run it again i'll give you 123.123 and see it only printed 123 it cut off this whole part truncated that whole part and just given us 123 so that's how it works when we give an integer mm, let's look at an another corner case we possibly enter into let's say i give a alphabet a which is not an integer but let's see what happens see we get some random stuff so when we didn't get the expected value we get into some kind of trouble we get some random garbage values so be careful of that also let me revise through this program just again well first we are declaring an integer by saying int a now we are printing something onto the screen to let the user know what what they have to do and then the scan of scan if brackets in double quotes we have to give the percentile sorry the format specifier of the variable which we want to for which we want to get the input in this case it is a so a is of type integer so we will give the percentile specifier the format specifier percentile d and after that i am just printing it again onto the screen so that's what it is doing now let's do the same thing for another data type char or char whatever you might call it it pretty much the same except we have to use the data the format specifier percentile c so let's save it again and i'm compiling this i didn't get any errors fine i'm executing it it says oh we have to see enter character right yeah i hope it's correct i'm pretty bad pretty much i'm very bad at spelling things but anyway just compiling it again now i'm executing it enter a character i'm entering it a and it prints it well perfectly fine so that's for it fellas don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.